What is good, YouTube? Drake Talks coming at you live with another video. We're going to recap what the fuck was sold today. It's July 11th, so oh, Thursday, yeah. 2019. Starting with Poshmark, all right? Poshmark's been my number one sales for a long time. I just love it. I just love how it fucking flows and shit. The offering's nice. The shipping is nice since you get that label that's already created. It just works a lot better than you know, eBay with like policies and returns and all that kind of shit. I found it to be a lot better for me, more control of how you sell your stuff. So say if you're on Poshmark, the more you share, the more you follow, the more exposure you get. On eBay, you, you can't really control that. On Posh, we sold two bundles to the same fucking guy. I don't know why. Maybe he was just testing the waters or he bought and then he came back and saw more stuff and then bought it again. But so the first bundle, was a USA Thunder shirt. It has lightning bolts, it says born country on there. I picked it up for a buck. It's been a while since I've had it. The other shirt in the bundle was a vintage Gravedigger shirt that I got from the Thrift Lord Wholesale Bundle. And you know, that was a pretty good profit paying $1 for that USA Thunder and the other one from Wholesale. And then the same guy, like 20 minutes later, made this other bundle and it had a Nua Tags Coca-Cola Bear Snapback. Now this had Nua Tags, I got it for five bucks at a garage sale. And then we also sold um, two t-shirts. One was a 1995 Chicago White Sox shirt. I paid two bucks for that t-shirt. Next one, last one was the Harley Davidson Martian Invasion shirt. I paid up for this, I paid 450. This was one of the 20 shirts I bought at once for 90 bucks. So it comes out to 450 average on each. And we still made some good money on this, I believe. We sold it for 44, the three shirts in the bundle. Comes down to $35.20 after fees, and I paid $11.50 for all of them. So it's like a $23.70 profit. I'm happy with it. I like moving inventory, guys. Here's a quick thing. I like volume more than anything. If you sit and wait on stuff for top dollar, say you wait three, three months, when you could have sold it in three weeks and just keeping volume go. Cash flow is king, guys. If you let too many things sit, I'd have like a 500 inventory right now. And I'm sitting around 300 trying to get that to more to increase uh, sales volume. But volume is always king because you got to keep moving stuff. And then we finally, we sold a vintage uh, color block crew neck sweatshirt I pulled from the bins. Sold that for 15 on Posh, comes down to $12 after fees. Cartier, and that got check. me barely above my daily profit goal of 100 bucks. And that was very nice because I was at like $91 on the day. And then I got that sale at 430, 30 minutes before five, which is when I stopped my daily sales. We also sold a cart or a champion script hoodie with the script on the um, chest, vintage champion. Pulled it from the bins just the other day and then sold it to a buddy locally for 20 bucks. So that was a pretty good come up as well. Moving on to eBay. Here's the thing. We didn't actually ship anything and I'm not gonna count anything I sold on eBay today because of these things. First thing I sold was the Supreme Cupid tee. Sold it for 200 bucks on uh, eBay. And they asked me to ship it to another address, which is always a red flag. Don't fall for that shit. If someone says that, you what you wanna do is reply to them and say, Hey, I can't do that, but I can refund you the money. You can change the shipping address on your eBay account and you can repurchase. And that way you're covered under eBay and PayPal. Never ship to someone that is not on the eBay account, if that makes sense. So I'm waiting to hear back on that. I'll probably have to cancel and relist because you gotta deal with all this shit, but it is what it is. And then the other thing we sold was the Led Zeppelin Jimmy Page Robert Plant shirt from the wholesale order from the thrift floor as well. I sold that for 45 and this buyer did the same exact thing. They asked me to ship to another address because they just moved. And I told them the same thing I just told you guys, but they haven't answered. So I'll probably have to cancel both of, those, both of those and relist and it's just a painful ass process. People suck, you know? Some people suck. I don't know why it happened twice in one day, but it is what it is. Hit our profit goal, which is good. Now we just need to keep keep cross-listing. I've got everything listed from the bins the other day and from the uh, thrifts I've been hitting. I always try to get eBay and Poshmark first before anything. So the order from me is when, I, when I'm cross-listing is going from eBay to Poshmark to Mercari to Depop. So that's everything. Appreciate you guys watching, tuning in. Hope you guys look out for these kind of things. Know how to deal with people trying to ship to other, other addresses. Don't do it, make them change it. Cartier, run up a check.